So I've made a homemade gelatin plate, which I'm going to ink up with water soluble oil based ink, which is Caligo Safe Wash. And I'm going to ink that up and then I'm going to take a monoprint from it. So we'll see how the process works. Okay. So first of all, I'm coating the roller. And I don't want it to be too thick. And spread it out a little bit, that's better. And then I'm gonna see how it covers the surface. The gelatin that I've made is not completely smooth, it has some bubbles in it. Um, but these can produce really nice effects. I've also made it a bit thin because my tray was quite large. Okay, so this is for breathing project. And I'm going to cover it to mask it so I don't get ink absolutely everywhere. So you can print by hand or you can print using a roller. So the first one I'm doing by hand and then I'll take that off and see how it looks. Okay, so here's the print I just made um, using my homemade gelatin and it's come out much better than I expected it to. Uh, so I'm going to take a second print, uh, what's called a ghost print, on some different paper. So this is normal photocopy paper, print, printing paper, um, not printmaking paper. Um, so the first layer of ink has come off this and it's on that piece of paper now. And this is now the ghost print, so the second layer of ink. And the main reason that this may or may not work is dependent on how absorbent the paper is and how much ink is left on the gelatin plate. So I haven't moved anything yet. And we'll just have a look, I'll take it off from here. You should get something much more delicate. Yeah, lovely. Okay, I'm going to try to remove the seed heads as gently as I can, and then I'm going to take a second ghost print. So the idea here is that the seed heads have protected some areas of ink um, from the print, from the paper. And so if I can get them all off, there should be enough ink left there. And these have still got ink on them as well. Um, so they should produce a fairly good image themselves. Okay, so I've removed all of the seed heads from the dandelion and I'm now going to take a print. So I'm printing it on very thin absorbent paper. And we'll see how it 
how this comes out. So I'm just pressing gently but firmly by hand. If I press too hard, it might squidge the gel um, and I might get a blurred image and I don't really want a blurred image. But I can feel the bubbles underneath the surface. <laughs> okay, that says we're coming up. next Linda <laughs> just to finish off I'm gonna put these back because these seed heads have ink on them oops so providing I don't get this completely wrong we might even be able to print some of the ink that remains on these seed heads very precise about anything. I'm not sure which way around that goes, that way maybe. Right, so I've now put back um, as many of the seed heads, uh, seeds I suppose, seeds as I can be bothered. Um, I'm going to take a print. I have absolutely, I've never done this before, I've no idea if it's going to work, so we'll see. I'll put it on this way here. There's not much ink in there and it's quite warm here. Okay, and this paper that I'm using, you can see it's quite transparent, translucent, and it's paper that I've used before um, for a project that needed some translucency. Uh, so I thought I'd see how it works for this project. How thick is it? It's uh, 60 grams. <laughs> Uh, and it's called 60s, just plain old 60s. And uh, I got it from Shepherds um, of London, which is a book binding supply place. Okay, here we go. Oh, great. Cute. Yep. She looks like Japanese print. So we've got them in order here. So this is the first one that I did. Um, and then that's on 60s paper. And then this is the second one that I did. And this is on just ordinary photocopy paper. So this is a ghost print, what you call a ghost print. So it's just a straightforward second print. Um, this is a print made from what was left on the plate when I took the dandelion seeds off it. And the next one was when I put some of the dandelion seeds that had ink on them back on the plate. And uh, there's a sort of variation between the seeds having, having um, ink on them and, and not. So this is a series that I've been um, just working on, basically using things that I've made. So the gel plate is homemade, the papers, photocopy paper, apart from the pa paper that I had lying around. The dandelion I found on my cycle ride yesterday and the only printmaking equipment that I have apart from that is the roller and the ink which is uh, water soluble ink that can be uh, washed off um, when I'm finished so it really is um, kitchen type stuff so that's the ink Caligo safe wash I love it <laughs> 